Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of A Girl with a Credit Card. Woo! A series where I unbox stuff I buy that I get from the internet or whatever, you know, like just, just somewhere on the internet. Or if I get it from Walmart or somewhere, I will unbox it here. And you will see it first at A Girl with a Credit Card on Techno Glow Stick on the YouTube channel. Yeah. So today, what we'll be unboxing is ta da! The Pioneer Blu ray Burner. And this version is the BDRXD05B. And this Blu ray burner is compatible with Windows 10 and Macintosh. I guess any kind of Macintosh, I don't really know. Okay, so Blu ray and BDXL. Now, um, I know on my channel I have one that, um, that I said worked, but I, th I felt like I needed an upgrade. Yeah, and I'll tell you why in a minute. After we unbox this, I'll tell you why I need to upgrade my $50 eBay Blu-ray for this $85 Blu-ray player that you plug into your computer with a USB. And what's different from this one, that one is that this one just takes one simple USB when the other one took two. Okay, so let's look at the back. It comes with some Windows software which is weird because it says it works for Macintosh, so I guess Macintosh just don't get any software. Sorry guys. Looks like it comes with Power DVD 14. I have Power DVD 16. Power to go 8. Burn all media to, to any disk, including system recovery tools. BDXL format supports 128 gig quad layer and 100 and uh, a hundred gig triple layer Blu-ray disc. So that's that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, that's just that's, 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 that's great. That's wonderful. Power Director 14 LE. Make videos with fast, powerful video editor tools. Okay. Edit your high definition videos and upload them to social media websites with the included software. So this social media website they're probably talking about is YouTube, because come on. I mean, what we're, we're gonna upload to Facebook, <laughs> whatever, Facebook is gay. What's interesting about this is that it comes with a USB bus power thing right here, as you see. Um, it's, it, it uses 3.0 or you use the 2.0 USB co uh, power to plug into your computer, but you're only supposed to use one of these, one of these, only supposed to use one of them. Auto quiet mode. Adjust the disk speed automatically, high speed for data transfer, okay, and low speed for music and movie playback. All right, that's awesome. Pure read. Scratches and fingerprints on your CD can cause them to skip. Uh-oh. When enabled, Pure Read makes your disk reread the obscured data to extract the original music and and accurately as possible. Oh, the original music is accurately as possible. Can't push that up. So let's just move on down here. Now in this section, it seems very important. You you could probably pause and read that for yourself, but it says that um, when using the USB 2 port, uh, a USB driver download. The uh, driver downloaded from Pioneer website must be installed to achieve six times, like the six times speed. Software provided is only for Windows OS. If you want to use this, please download, like, I, I know this is a 3.0, but just download the software from the website anyway, just in case, just in case, you never know. Just download it and then you can't say, oh, it didn't work. And oh, I, I didn't try everything. I mean, think about how dumb that is. You, 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 you had the opportunity to say you didn't try everything. Now let's open this thing. All right, so there's just one strip of tape across here. Hope I won't cut my hand, because that's just stupid, what I just did there, all right? Get my hand out the way. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. It says Blu-ray disc single and double layer is six times the speed. Triple layer is four times the speed. DVD and I guess DVD-ROM or whatever is eight times the speed. And a regular CD-ROM is 24 times the speed. Whoa, wowzers. Okay, that sounded super white. Okay, just didn't know that. I'm black, by the way. Ha, ah, it's opened. Oops, 
Well, looks like we have the first thing that came out of the box. So let's just see what this is since it fell out the box. Okay, this is the USB cord that comes with it and it has two ends. You want to use the blue end because this end will transfer data faster and I think you can watch movies and stuff faster. Like basically if you want to burn something, burn it with this blue end because this is the 3.0 and this is just a 2.0, which is whatever. I mean, I have something with 2.0 that says I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. If you, yeah, you listen to Cray, you'll, you'll get the reference, okay? Oh, okay, let me just open the rest of this. Whoop, whoop. Don't want to damage the innards. Now, this is the manual, and inside the manual comes the disc. Ha, ah, Media Sweet 10. Okay, let's just open this so you, just for educational purposes, since I have like late, better software than this. Just educational purposes. Educational purposes. Education. So, this is Media Suite 10. Everything that comes with here is on this one disc. And it looks like you get a few extra stuff because of the label print 2.0. That was not mentioned on this box to my knowledge. There really is no need to look any further in here because all there is is this is manual and the warranty card. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah! This is the player, the Blu-ray disc burner. This is it. Look how virgin and unfingerprinted and, uh, and unsoiled it is. It's beautiful. Honestly, I thought this would be blue, but that's okay. That's okay. You're still perfect. You're still perfect. The interesting thing about this is that it's a clamshell disc. Look at this. If I, oh. Well, apparently the power needs to be on before I can actually open the clamshell disc part, which is awesome. That means you don't, you, I, I don't know, I guess, um, well, I don't really see any benefits to that, but it's a clamshell disc. When you press this, it open like creak, like a book. And this is the back. Now, if you look to your right, this is the Blu-ray player that I got for eBay for $50.02. Free shipping, no tax, two cents. Came straight from China. Now, the problem with this is that it worked. Okay, well, let me just say, just say some nice things about it, you know, some sweet things. Okay. It works good, but it doesn't work well. It's, it, it doesn't work well enough. Cause you see, the thing is, this over here, the um, Pioneer disc burner, it's playback, can play DVDs that are triple and quad layer. It, it can do that, it can, it can read discs like that. But this can only read single layer and double layer discs. So by a long shot, this disc reader or disc burner is a thousand times better than this one because every Blu-ray I own, which I don't own many, I own, I can count on my hands, the Cold Breaker, the Princess and the Frog, Inside Out, and the How Do He Seasons 1 through 2. Every disc that I own is a triple and quad layer, which I, I just think they're all quad layers. So by a long shot, this one is way better and this one it sucks it like it, okay it works but it doesn't work well because you see the thing is it skips and gets choppy in like the middle or in some sporadic part of the movie so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this up download its necessary um, requirements I'll give my review once I hook everything up okay so three two one uh, for, for people who are new to this, when I, when I snap my fingers, magical things happen. I go to the future. I have control over time and stuff like that. Well, no, God has control over time, but this is the close. This is the closest I get. Okay, so get ready. Three, two, one. I need to charge my camera too. So anyway, three, two, one. Future. I am totally and utterly shocked. It doesn't work well. It works excellent. It, it is far beyond my wildest dreams. For, 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 for video watching. I'm not gonna burn new CDs. I haven't tested that feature yet, but I'm pretty sure for burning CDs, it'll work excellent. I know I said I would come back with the um, thing set up, but I have it unplugged right now because I wanted to show you that it was a plug and play method. You see my, uh, my, my USB setup here? If you choose not to install the drivers for the 2.0, all you have to do is plug in the 3.0 and it works instantly. So watch this, let me just plug this in. Plug this in. And don't know if you can tell, but that's a, there's a blue light there. Let's see. 
Yeah, this, this light is blue. This works really well. Let me show you how the clam feature opens. Like you just press open and then it opens. See, just pops open. Of course, you have to have power in order for it to pop open. Yeah, don't judge me inside out, I love this movie. When I use the other USB player that I got from eBay for $50 and two cents. Yeah, that's right, I, I remember to the penny, $50 and two cents. It did not play this extra DVD at all. It was just blank and it wouldn't load. And if it did load, it would load up blank. But now that when I put it in, I found myself watching 40 minutes of f video before I realized, wait, I'm supposed to be making an a update for you guys to show you if this worked or not. So this works very well, very well indeed. Now I'm gonna close this and show you that it shows up and that the computer recognizes it. And it is very quiet, very minimal noise. I don't know what people are complaining about so much. Maybe it was an older model or something that they were complaining about, they made a lot of noise, but this one does not make much noise at all. It is very, very subtle, very quiet. So you can watch this when people are sleeping if you have roommates or something. Okay, I pray you can see this. Um, right here is the drive for the computer that from uh, what's built, in, built into my computer already. So let me just push down the, pull on the drop down box so you can see that the external drive is working, it's actually there. Okay, see? Um, and it says inside out bonus disc. It, it, it popped up, shows up, plays very well. There's no skipping at all. It, um, it, it plays well, it, is, it has beautiful quality. It, it is everything, this thing is everything in a bag of chips. I paid $80, $85 for this all together and I think it was worth it. You, you get something that doesn't skip or you know something that works right. So, so don't be cheap, don't be cheap, don't get the eBay stuff. I know I said it in the other videos, the Donkey Kong hit and I was all dramatic and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, you, you really wanna pay the money to get um, something that works well, which is something that you probably saw the video and was all like, well, you probably should have paid the money and got something that works well, if it'll tear up later, huh? <laughs> and you're right. When I was watching the Inside Out movie, I could only watch a little bit of it until it got into add to the abstract thought part of the movie. It started being very choppy and blurry, and the audio was crazy. It, it was like it was like when <laughs> when Peter from Family Guy ate that rice biscuit. Remember he ate that rice biscuit? And not, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, that rice cake. And it, <laughs> you just have to see, just type in P.D. Easter rice cake. That's, that was hilarious what would happen to him. I also tested out this movie. Yeah, don't judge me. I love this movie, so you can, you can go somewhere. Ain't nobody watching no kids movie, man. This is for grown folks. Shoo. When I tested out this movie, I got friends on the other side. It worked perfectly, but on the $50 and two cent, might I add, player that I played this on, it was act skippy and blurry during that scene. But on this player, this $80 player, this $85 player, it played perfectly. There was like no skipping. The audio was amazing. It was just, it was just everything you expect, expect in a Blu-ray. I got my player from eBay, but I've seen where you can get this on Newegg.com. And New, New Egg's a pretty trustworthy site. I, I, I think you can trust them. Um, my brother's bought some stuff from Newegg before, you know, and it's, it's gotten to him before, so I think they're trustworthy. I don't know, I've never bought anything from Newegg, but I know you can get this from Newegg, and you can get the Macintosh version of this, which is just a white clamshell on Best Buy. So if you want to, so if you don't want to try eBay, then, then I guess try those two sites. And it runs from like 80 to 90 bucks, or 80 to 100 bucks, really, de really depends on the seller. Well, that's it, you guys. We've come to the conclusion of this video. Thank you for watching the video. Click the like button or hit the dislike button. And if you want to, subscribe. Above all these things, remember, shop responsibly. This is for grown folks. Shoo.